Hey everybody on YouTube, Hello Bella here, coming to you from my grandma's house. I am in my 99 cent cat turtleneck nightgown, so please don't judge me too harshly. Um, I just could not pass this up for 99 cents. Today is Goodwill Day, so me and the fam are driving up to Tennessee to go to Goodwill because um, it's just become something that I really enjoy doing. So I thought I would show you um, all the items that I, or a couple of items that I've sold in March that sold for $20 or more on eBay. That way you can get a good idea of what types of items will give you a decent profit margin, especially when you're picking them up for anywhere from $1 to $5. So this first one sold for actually $20 on a best offer. These are Under Armour compression pants. Um, Under Armour sells really well for me, especially if you can get one that's patterned. A lot of them are just plain black, but these had a really funky, cool uh, like pattern on the side, and they were in great shape. So I took a best offer of $20 on those. The next item are these Adidas shoes. These sold for $26 on a best offer. Um, I paid six for them, so I mean, not a ton of profit there, but definitely worth walking to the mailbox. I probably cleared like 10 bucks off of those. Nothing amazing, but um, I really went with my gut when I was picking these up because I just thought they looked so cool. Um, and they, they sat for a little while, but they definitely sold, so no worries there. The next item is this Frida Kahlo print. Um, I sold this for $35 on a best offer to someone in California. It did cost a little bit to ship. I believe it was like $12 to ship, but I only paid $3, so I've got $15 in it plus fees. So I made about a $15 profit after all is said and done off my $3 investment. I just had to pick it up because it was so neat. And it was just a really interesting um, print. It's the one where she cuts off all her hair. So I thought it was kind of cool. And I'm trying to sell more art pieces and more jewelry. That's two categories that I wanted to learn more about on eBay this year. Because if you're thrifting, you know that there's a ton of art at Goodwill and at thrift stores. And also there's jewelry too in some places where they don't necessarily look through the jewelry to see what's worth any money. Which brings me to the next item is this lion pin that I sold for $38. I paid $1 for it at a thrift store. Um, and here is the pictures that I have of it. It was missing a tooth actually. Um, it was missing uh, like one on the right side. Um, but I put put that in the description and stuff. So um, I'm actually on a group on Facebook called Thrifty Jewelry Treasures, and um, it's really good. The um, the group helps you learn about different types of jewelry and what it's worth, and most of them sell on eBay. So um, yeah, joining that group was really good for me because I was able to post some things and show different pieces of jewelry. Um, and I really just went with my gut on this. I just picked it up and it was really heavy and I thought it was interesting looking. So um, paid a dollar, sold for $38. The next item is bear spray. So I actually got this for free, so um, I don't have any money invested. I got it from Yellowstone and I never used it. Somebody gave it to me and then I accidentally snuck it. Well, I didn't sneak it home, but it wound up in my belongings. So um, bear spray usually sells for about 40 to $50 at the parks. So somebody got a great deal on this because this is 25 bucks and it was never used. So that's just one of those things that I had laying around the house that, you know, it's not being used. So you you should definitely um, sell it. I sell everything that I own. Um, next item is actually a really good flip. I paid um, four dollars for this skirt and it sold for $39.99 just outright. No best offer, just sold for that price. It's a maxi leather skirt. So it's a size 14 and it's it was heavy, like really heavy. Um, so that sold. It had one little spot on it and I made sure to take a picture of it. Um, but overall, it was a really nice looking skirt. I actually got that at the Goodwill that I'm going back to today. So I hope to find some more leather. Um, a lot of materials, guys, it doesn't really matter the brand as long as it's leather or wool or, um, you know, like certain, certain color schemes. All right, let's go on to the next item. This J. Crew uh, Velvet uh, Blazer sold for $28. This is what I'm talking about with the material. The velvet is really in style right now. Um, this cost me $6 and I sold it for $28 and I believe I shipped it in a padded flat rate mailer. So probably about a $15 profit there, somewhere between $12 and $15. 
um, but it sold pretty quickly. You can see here it's a six tall, so kind of an odd size, but it didn't take, I mean, it took less than a month to sell, and it had one little spot on the sleeve that I pictured. Um, and just because something has something wrong with it does not mean that people won't pay, a, you know, a decent price for it. You can see here I got, had it listed for $39.99. I got a best offer of $28. All right, moving on. Let's see what else we have here. This Banana Republic, um blazer sold for let's see I think I actually got a best offer on this let me check on my phone really quick because I had them memorized um, anyways I paid a dollar for it and um, it was one of those 99 cent day finds it was it was probably in my haul video not too long ago um, I paid a dollar for it and it sold for let's see $25. So $1 to $25. I took a best offer on that. This one was new with tags and it's Banana Republic size 6. Um, so yeah, I knew when I when I grabbed this that it would be a decent flip even if I just got 20 bucks out of it. Love the sleeves here. I really like that little detail and if you ever have something kind of quirky about an outfit you should definitely show it in the pictures. Okay, next item is this Matilda Jane dress. I got this for six, and it sold outright for twenty-seven ninety-nine. Um, Matilda Jane is a big brand. I don't know if it's a big brand worldwide, but in the South, Southern ladies love Matilda Jane. I see it all over the consignment shop, and I see it at thrift stores rarely, but sometimes it's starting to make its way in thrift stores. This is a very basic dress, and the pictures are not that great, which is why it probably took a couple of weeks to sell. Um, I wish I could figure out a way to take better pictures, but I'm so damn lazy about eBay, and you just throw stuff up there and it sells, so it kind of makes you not even care that much about getting better at your pictures. Um, I'm sure that a lot of you guys have professional photo setups that you know you can take a lot better pictures so maybe one day I'll do that but right now I don't make a ton of money on eBay it's safe to say I make a couple hundred dollars a month on eBay I think my 60 day total is somewhere around like a thousand dollars so not amazing but not bad either especially when I don't put very much work on it um, the goal for the end of April will be to have a hundred items listed on eBay I think I have let's see right now I've got 69 items active, 14 that I need to relist because they haven't um, sold. So that'll put me at 83. So I'll only need to list 17 more items in April to hit that 100 item goal. And of course, some of those will sell off as I list them. It's fun with eBay because stuff will sell immediately after you list it, and you're like, oh my god, I priced it way too low. Like, but that's fun. And you know, it's fun. It's fun to see stuff go that quick. Next item are these. Uh, I call it Loretto, 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 yeah, probably Loretto, um, leather boots. I paid $6 for these, and they sold for $34.99 outright. Um, they were in pretty good condition. They had a few spots on them. I will give you some advice for taking pictures of boots. Um, I don't have one of those boot tools where, that you stuff down in there, so I actually just stuff two dish towels in each one of them to make them stand up. I know that's like my ghetto eBay tip for the day. You can call it a hack if you want to call it a hack. But, um, yeah, I just shove things down in the boots to make them stand up tall. Um, these had a few scuffs on them, but for six bucks, you know, you can't beat that, that price. So, sold them for $34.99. Uh, so not a bad flip there at all. Last item, um, these VHS tapes. It was a pack of six tapes. I actually got these, I believe, when I went to Ohio. Paid $3 for all six of them, and they sold for $35. So, you guys, I'm sure you already know about VHS tapes, uh, VHS players, VHS DVD combos, all of those vintage dinosaur electronics are selling for so much money right now so I would really encourage you if you pick some of those up to grab you know as many as you can and start learning about them because once you learn which ones go for a lot of money you'll be more apt to find them when you go out thrifting I actually found some Polaroid old Polaroid film um, yesterday for a dollar and I got two packs of it and I'll probably get $25 a pack I would imagine on Amazon and I only paid a dollar for it so I'm gonna sell that with FBA but yeah that's just what's going on with my eBay business lately um, I do sell 
mostly clothes, but sometimes I'll get those weird items like the Frida Kahlo print, and right now I have some like Disney clock and clocks and things listed, so you never know what you're going to come across in the thrift store, and that's one of the reasons that I wanted to have eBay business, Amazon business, and my antique booth, because between all three of those, I can move pretty much any product anywhere. Like, I don't think that you could give me an item and I couldn't give you a platform to sell it on at this point. Um, I don't sell vintage on Etsy. I found it to be just not worth my time. Etsy's a lot about presentation and a lot less about actual value. The thing with eBay customers is they kind of know, I mean, what things are worth, what the market will tell you. A lot of times when I see items on Etsy, they're just completely overpriced and overvalued. And the photographs are great, but I mean, it just isn't my, really my style. I don't want to spend 30 minutes taking pictures of one item. So, but yeah, eBay, Amazon, uh, well, I have an Etsy shop, but it's for Printful integration, and then Merch by Amazon, and now Real Estate and Antique Booth. So, I don't know. You guys, I'm all over the place, but I love it. I love what I do, and it's it's just really fun. So, happy Saturday, everyone. Uh, I'm going to get ready and put on some real clothes that aren't turtleneck cap nightgowns and go to Goodwill. So, take care.